Hey guys, this is the Wax Man. It is Wax On. We're going to take a look at uh, some of these Fairfield football packs that I've got. This one in particular we're going to start with. It's going to be Brett Favre. On the front we've got some side cards. Side packs. Um, all kinds of neat stuff that we're looking at in these. So we're going to go ahead and open this one first. As always, I like to mention I love these little tabs. It tells us exactly how we're supposed to open these boxes. From the bottom, not the top. Takes too long to open that way. And they just slide right out. Let's see what we got here. We've got a nice pack hidden and torn in between. Let's see. The 1990s. Let's see. Well, let's go ahead and let's open this first and get this get this done. It seems like there might be some, you know, some interesting cards in here. I'm not going to tell you I'm familiar with the product. I'm just going to tell you that if I can open some packs and get some good cards, it's always a good thing. So let's see what we've got here. 1990 score. Let's see here. Eddie Murray, Mike Kofer, Mike Munchak, Ricky Dixon, Ken O'Brien, Keith Woodside, Henry Ellard, Marion Butts, Clyde Simmons, Roger Craig. There you go. Nice. He played for many years. Carl Lee, Johnny Rembert. Ronaldo Turnbull, there's a rookie. Chris Spielman. Dan Hampton, Jeff Cross. All right, so we got that out of the way. And Super Bowl trivia. Who gained the most yards rushing in his, his Super Bowl career? Franco Harris, Larry Zonka, John Riggins, Clarence Davis. Obviously, it's going to be Franco Harris, he went to quite a few Super Bowls. So let's see about the cards here. Start going through these, see what we've got. So here's the, the reason why I grabbed the pack in the first place. Let's just see this Living Legends. Brett Farr, that's nice. Let's flip this around then. Jamison Crowder, Parrish, Miller, some nice cards in here as far as the quality of the cards. Oh, here we go. Old school card. Here's a scene, Jeremy Hill. Oh, there's an old pro line there. That was an interesting set. It really was more about, I don't think it was really about football. I think it was more based on you know, learning about the players than anything. Let's see. Darby. Roller. Chris Miller performance highlights. Let's see. It's Williams. It's a rookie card here. What year is this? Let's see. 2007, Lorenzo Booker. go number one checklist so I was saying about the pro lines there's Franco there it's just more about getting to know the players and or even the former players in this case oh there we go this is the other reason why I grabbed this pack um, there was only two two of these total that they had available at the time but Dimitri's were in star materials I, I saw it was a little thick from the side. And let's see what year this is. 2006. Again. Demetrius Williams, wide receiver from the Ravens. And let's see what we got here. <laughs> you know I just saw a baseball card in here. That's hilarious. 
Dave Clark from Pittsburgh Pirates. You know, in the one of the boxes recently, I had a basketball card. Oh, there was there's Tim Green. Wait, which Tim Green is this? Oh yeah, that's him. So this is gonna go on my PC. Uh, t if you notice, where it says college, Syracuse, fifth year, drafted first round, 1986. Born and raised, he was in Liverpool, New York, which is uh, one city over from me. You know, he was a real good, real good defensive player, quality player. And he, um, when he finished his career, I remember seeing him as an announcer for the bots, those bot wars that they used to have. So I'm going to set him aside. That's a nice car there. So we got here Will, another rookie star, Will Shields. Uh, this is just Hakeem, 81. Okay. And let's see, we got some more cards over here. Let's see. Which web? All right, so we got to turn some cards around here. Yeah, I just don't know if the, if the uh, football will be as good. It was nice to get that. Well, Cornelius Bennett, he was a pretty decent player in his time, too, when he played for Buffalo. Fortunately, Buffalo has is synonymous with going to four Super Bowls and losing all four of them, you know, basically back-to-back. -back. It was crazy. Is that Emmett? Yep, that's Emmett Smith. There we go. Now, that's a sweet card there. Joe Montana. Jerry Rice. Again, those pro line, they really were just about, you know, getting to know the players, the situations. So I guess this counts as, a, as an insert, as a card that can't be redeemed or anything like that. Uh, let's see here. Holy Brown, the Raiders, I think. Super Bowl Superman, Ray Wershing, Joe Montana. That's interesting. Official NFL card. The official NFL card. So this was an actual card in the pro set. And if you notice here, this is uh, telling you different things of what are on the shelf, what they represent. Okay. Let's see what we got left here. Another Super Bowl. Super Bowl Superman. Let's see what we got here. Fred Strickland. Herschel Walker. There we go. My arm is cramping up a little bit, so just bear with me. When it comes to uh, this camera angle today, right now, let's see. Offensive tackle. Let's see what the rest of the cards are we have here. Let's see. Keith Sims. Is that. Uh... No, that's Sammy Smith. Troy Vincent, Dwight Stevenson. You know, I, I, I love sports. Um, There's going to be a few years that I'm really not familiar with a lot of these players. I'm just looking for something that's really good, really cool, really neat, like this. It's in 1987. It's in really, it's in excellent shape. You know, that's the kind of car that you just set aside and say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and sleeve that bad boy up. Because the quality of its condition is, is just really nice. And so when it goes in the set, I want to make sure that it doesn't get destroyed. Here's another card. Uh, let's see if it's got the year on it. 1989. Yeah, it's not bad. A little bit dinged up. Let's see. Jeff Bostic. 
with a green. Keith McKellar. Steve Christie. Dave Fulcher. And all those pro set cards. But this is a little different one. This is 1990 first round draft. David Grant. Boomer. Boomer Iason. Darnay Scott. AJ McCarron. That's a nice little rookie there of Kyle Rudolph. I'm going to set that one aside. Um, just in case somebody wants that card. So, out of that first box, we had a couple of nice cards come out of there. We had these future star materials. So this is his rookie debut card. So hopefully he did some had some success with that with whatever team he ended up with. Um, these cards here were pretty nice. They're pretty really nice shape. Um, you know, and, and Tim Green, of course, with Syracuse. So let's set those over there. And now we're going to open the second one up real quick. Because it's, it's this. That's been itching at me since I got these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up real quick. I'm going to set aside and try not to look at what card that is. Grab the pack, set that aside, and that card, I'm going to make sure there's something on top of it, and then when we get to it, we'll get to it. So I'm going to hide that card underneath another card. So there's a card on top of it. And then the pack inside, it looks like we have some nice, some decent cards in here, is going to be 2017 Leaf Draft. So let's take a look at this. See what we can pull out of here. See if we can find anything good, since it is the draft cards. So let's see here. Brad Kaya, T.J. Watt, Amara Darbo, T.S. Tabor, Ruben Foster. So that's what we've got in these draft cards. And now let's see what we've got in the box. We got some nice cards in here, I think. This is nice. I just like this one here automatically. Here's Steve Smith. You know, it's a 2012. Nice chrome. Let's see here. Leonard Smith. Jonathan Ogden. Alvin Pearl Perman. Perman, sorry. Donovan McNabb. Okay, so let's flip this one over. Let's see. Where does it say? Where did he go to school at? What does that say? Syracuse. Again, another <laughs> quality player who, you know, you don't have to win a Super Bowl sometimes to be a quality player. And so we're going to go ahead and set him aside with that other stack we have. Here's Brian Cox, rookie, 1991. All right, there's our checklist, but Dan Marino on the front. That's kind of nice. Let's see. Uh, just trying to go through these as quick as possible. Because, you know, we all really want to see what's that other card, you know. Oh, there's a nice one. Robert Brooks. I guess we got a few of these backwards. Uh, here we go. Lawrence Taylor. Now, you talk about a dominant football player. What was he dominant? Yes. But there was something he did that really brought to light how powerful he was. And we all watched it one Monday evening when he accidentally, and he felt so bad after this, broke Joe Theismann's leg, basically ending Joe Theismann's career. It was crazy. Crazy, crazy to watch him do that. And he didn't mean to do it. He just happened to roll on his leg, and it just just crushed him, you know, because of his sheer power. 
Let's flip these around. Let's see what we got here. Oh, nice. I like those old unis. Nice way to represent them. Wow. I like that card. Let's see what we got here. Calvin Johnson Jr. Ronnie Lott. Ronnie Lott was another good player. Very good in his years with the San Francisco 49ers. And you can see here it says he's a safety. Ronnie Lott was just another phenomenal player. Let's see here. We got uh, a few more cards. You know, I'm not going to pronounce everybody, but it's just kind of neat to see some of these cards. It's a different look than uh, the basketball. So this is my, my first time dealing with the... Here's a rookie card of Kadeem Carey. He's running back for Chicago at one time. Let's see, Willie Jackson. Uh, here's some Baltimore Ravens. What's this? Box score. Jamal Lewis. Okay, there you go. Oh, wait, what's this? Okay, he didn't play that year in 2001. He was injured, but he played in 2000. Okay. So we got here. Garrett Graham. That's just, we'll just call him Jay. Tony Banks. Antonio Freeman. I like that card. It's kind of neat. Houston Oilers cornerback, Chris Dishman. Okay. And let's go to the other half of the stack. I'm actually going to split this into two to make this easier. Try to, you know, get a little comfortable here, guys. Uh, Eric Metlaff, Metcalf, Vance Johnson. So I got a couple of uh, checklists this time, but that's an 88 checklist there. You know, except for it off center, man, it's a pretty sharp condition. Man, I don't know what to tell you, but that's pretty decent shape. Oh, let's see here. Oh, I gotta remember which stack. I haven't looked at that stack yet. I started putting it in the wrong stack. All right, let's see here what we got. What we got? Curly Bears again. Another older car. Oh, look at the gum, the gum stain on it. This is a '88. Okay, let's see what we got. Here. Legend. That's a nice little card there. Yeah, not all the cards are good players, but you guys know who they are better than I do right now. Charlie Brown, instant replay. Look at that. This card is from 1984. Okay, guys, we're just going to take a look at this. Look at this. Look at these corners. I got to sleeve that one up today. Cause that's just a really, really nice card for that year. And uh, again, it's so hard to get great cards in, 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 in any condition anymore. Oh wow, here's this old school Steeler, right? I call him all old school because he hasn't played with the Steelers in a while. That's Mike, Mike Tomzak. You know, he was supposed to be the future of the Steelers back in the 90s, but. Now, let's see here, Lynn James. Darren Lewis, Ron Morris, Ben Watson, Leslie O'Neill, Jeff Blake. That's kind of neat. If you guys aren't familiar with that, that's kind of neat. Yeah. Let's see here, Daryl. Yeah. Okay, we already looked at these, I think. Okay, so this is a rookie card. No, we didn't look at this. It's a rookie card of. Uh, Joey Galloway. Nice. What year is that? That is... 2002. A little nick on the right there. Okay, here's the rest of the cards. There's another two, rookie from 2008. Thomas Brown. Rookie exclusive. Shard Choice, Leotis McKelvin, Terrell Owens, there we go. 
It's a nice card there, nice shape. A little, little issue right there, but overall pretty nice. All right, so we're going to get some more cards here. Let's see what we got. Donald Driver. Heath Miller, nice. Oh, no way. That would be sweet if this is his, his Fleer rookie. I got to set that one aside. I'm going to have to check on that, guys. That's kind of nice because I am, I am a Steelers fan, and Heath Miller, I was always impressed with his the ability he was to help open up the offense. Thurman, Thurman Thomas, he was a running back for the Bills. He was a pretty decent running back. His career numbers in 96. Let's see, yards, uh, attempts, how many yards he got. You can see he was, he was doing over 1,000 yards a year. Man, that's crazy. Oh, here's a, here's a nice card there. I thought it was going to be a special card, but no. Just a card. Here's another official NFL card. Uh, what's this? Playback's finest tops. Ah. Raheem Ishmael. Nice. Not, not too bad. Let's see here. Playmakers Terry Allen. Julius Jones. Wow. It's third year card, second year card. Antoine Smith. John Randall. So these are some nice cards as far as adding them to a collection. Here's a, a, um, Anquan Bolden. Because this one, these aren't too bad. Here's a rookie card for Calvin Hayden, cornerback. See, that'll be a good one to check. I'm going to check on that one. That was a good one to see how he did. Ryan Tannehill. Yeah, this was his. Looks like it doesn't say rookie on it. First year card. But here's uh, TJ Graham on oh, Aaron Rodgers in 2011. All pro card. Nice. Nice. Okay, guys. So, this is what we've been waiting for. Uh, let's flip this first over. I have still haven't looked at it. So here is the Pro Line card. Look at those pants. Oh my God! Look at those pants, and that's what they used to wear in the day. Okay, so here we go, guys. Here's the hit. Oh, and it's numbered oh, five eleven out of thirteen thirty five. Oh my gosh, T.J. Graham. Nice jersey, auto. Nice, nice card. Wow, I told you it was thick. I told you it was sweet. And is this his rookie card also? Wow. Yup. It looks like, yep, there it is, there it is, there it is. And that's his rookie card. Um, unless somebody... You know, I'll have to check up its worth, but I, I man, it'd be nice, uh, a nice addition to someone's collection. So, guys, I, re I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, it's mostly a lot of newer stuff to me. I, I, as much as I love football, I love basketball the most, but when it comes up to cards, really the love I have is for baseball cards, and I don't know why. I prefer them over the the other sports that are more predominant in a sense in my life. Um, I used to have magic season tickets. Um, I would go to football games when the bowl games would come here to, uh, to Orlando and the Citrus Bowl. And um, But as far as baseball, it's been years since I've gone, but I just, just love, I don't know why I still love baseball. I just do. I love watching the games. I love watching the, the chases. But now we're talking football, and this was a nice card. Um, that means there's only 1,353 of these. It's not like a 1 of 2, a 5 of 10, but still it tells us there's only so many of these cards out there. And so that means that you know, if one of you guys uh, is looking for this card, let me know. Uh, my email will be in the description. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. This is Wax out.